Hello and welcome to Cooking with PMQ. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. Today in the kitchen, we are joined by the owner of Master Pizza in Cleveland, Ohio. He's a member of the U.S. Pizza Team, also a winner of the Mellow Mushroom National Pizza Trials in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He's my brother from another mother batch, or as I like to call us, Beauty and the Beast, Michael Lamarca. Welcome, Michael. Thanks, Brian. Thank you for having us out uh, here today. Thanks so much for coming down. Um, there's an array of ingredients right here. What are we going to be making today? Today we'll be making our uh, Popeye pizza, the, the one we won in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. Um, yeah, we serve it on our menu, but we're going to kind of embellish it a little bit just to take it to another level to make it a competition style type of pizza. Uh, today we'll be using uh, obviously our dough. Uh, we have a garlic butter base. We, on that we put a little bit of Parmesan cheese, black pepper, oregano, and then we put a layer of shredded Asiago cheese. And then on top of that we put our fresh spinach so that uh, uh, the spinach when it cooks, the, the water from the spinach releases and it doesn't uh, make our dough soggy, it keeps it nice and firm. Okay. Uh, then we'll put a little bit of blue cheese, a little bit of ricotta blend, and then we'll put a little bit of pesto paste, just a couple splashes around just for some flavor. And then we'll top it with our provolone cheese. And then we'll put um, sliced tomatoes on top with uh, artichoke hearts that are stuffed with so a little bit of blue cheese and uh, mozzarella cheese. We'll put a little basil finish and then maybe a little balsamic vinegar uh, drizzle on top. Wow, that's sounds that's a huge undertaking. Yeah, and this is something you serve in your restaurant, right? Yes, it is. Again, minus a couple of uh, okay. flashy uh, ingredients, but just uh, uh, to carry it over the top when you compete because the pizzas that compete are fantastic. You got to you know stick out above uh, some of the other ones that you're competing against. All right. Well, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so now we have all our ingredients laid out. We are ready to go. So what does it take to make this pizza? Okay, what we're going to do is uh, pan out your dough like you would do in your shop okay. that you would do normally, uh, however you would like. Uh, you can use um, uh, whatever kind of pan you use, like a deep dish pan or, okay. or something along the lines of this. But I would definitely uh, not use a screen because this pizza is kind of heavy and uh, okay. a pan would probably keep a good support on it. And this is about what, a 16 inch? A 16 inch pie, yes. How heavy is the dough? Uh, one pound, eight ounces. Okay. So we definitely, uh, it's a little thicker. Pounds. Yeah, one and a half pounds. It's a little thicker than some people use, but definitely um, uh, it's a little breadier. Okay, perfect. So what? Uh, what's the very first thing we're gonna do we're here? We're gonna use our garlic butter base that we prepped. It's uh, melted butter, garlic, Parmesan cheese in here. Okay, And that, uh, that's nice and thick, that's beautiful. Yeah, it turned out nice. And then uh, what we do is put the base on here, brush it on. Okay. They can definitely smell the garlic. That's always yeah. a good flavor to have, just kind of at the bottom of everything. When, whenever, you know, I, I do any kind of competition, I uh, use flavors that I like. I love garlic. You know, it's like a salesperson. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta love what you sell, and I use ingredients that I love. So garlic is definitely one of them, and uh, we are not shy when we use it. So you kind of go in trying to please yourself and hoping everybody else likes it. Well, th yeah, I, I believe if you um, create a pizza that you enjoy, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna enhance it yourself, and, and, and it's it's just gonna taste better, and you could uh, sell it to the judge better, you know. Yeah. That's when, true. when you're explaining the pizza, you almost have a little bit of passion behind right. the ingredients you use. So awesome. Um, so what's the next thing we're gonna put on top of um, our garlic? A little bit butter. more Parmesan cheese. Okay. Okay. You know, I could put Parmesan cheese on my my cornflakes if I was. So socially acceptable, you know. <laughs> we love Parmesan cheese. <laughs> so uh, I little, won't judge you. That's okay. <laughs> I put basil on my pillow at night, so we're all right. So uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of that. Okay. Um, and then what we'll do is just a little black pepper. Sometimes it's a little. You catch it. Just a little bit of uh, flavor with the black pepper, and sometimes you get a little bit of seed in there. It's just really nice. Yeah. When they bite into it, every now and then it's a, just yep. a little pop. Okay. Uh, then a little bit of dried oregano. And I just usually, just enough just to sprinkle it on there to have enough where um, it's there, but it's not overpowering. Because mm -hmm. there's so many flavors on this pizza and it's very complex. Uh, you don't want one to stand out a little bit more than the other. Um, I think the star of this pizza is the cheese and all the different types of cheese we use mm -hmm. with the spinach. Um, so I try to let that be the star and this is just complements it. And okay. I go all the way to the edge, make sure every bit of bite has a little bit on there, okay? And then what we're going to do is our Asiago cheese, uh, shredded it, and this is going to give us a nice layer uh, between the ingredients we're going to use on top that hold some water, like our fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. So this will definitely give us a little bit of a base that keeps the pizza a little bit, you know, keeps it firm. Okay. Um, Just that protective layer to exactly. put everything on top. And plus it, that layer tastes good, so, <laughs> so there's no uh, fault on that. Um, and just a thin layer. Thin layer will do. You don't have to go too 
too heavy on this, um, or if you use some kind of base if you use a, uh, when you're making a vegetable pizza. Now we notice you're kind of doing this all by hand. You do have this recipe portioned out? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. But um, I've just gotten so used to making this pizza. It's second nature. It's almost second nature now. So. Well, we're going to put all the portions up on pmq.com slash recipe bank for anybody who wants to try this at their own pizzeria. So don't worry, guys. Now we're going to use spinach, uh, fresh spinach that's uh, distemmed already. We, uh, I try to make, especially with competition, I try to catch every detail as possible. For example, I don't want to have stems on it. And when I do lay the spinach on a pizza, I always go uh, bottom side, bottom, top side, top. I know it sounds crazy, but I try to catch every detail. And one of the things that this has a, a kind of some uh, traction on it. So when you bite it, it has some traction. The slippery slide sometimes slides right off. Okay, so now we've got all our spinach down. Uh, what's the next step here? The next step is I'm gonna put a little bit of blue cheese on here. Okay. And uh, one of the things that I learned being on the US Pizza team is, uh, you know, put a little bit of something of a strong flavor on there, just a couple dabs so that um, when a judge bites it, they get a hint of it and they wanna take a second bite and find out what, what else is on this pizza. It makes wow, it a little okay. bit more complex. And uh, it's a little it trick that- Draws you in. Draws like, you in, yeah. You don't, you don't give too much, but just enough to-, to Yes, yeah, a little bit of a tease, if you will, <laughs> of what's on there. And I think this is a good, uh, I love blue cheese. You tease. And uh, I love to have like, uh, that, just a little bit of that flavor. You yeah. see, just a little bit. It's nothing too strong, but it's enough to say, hey, there's, you know, something's going on in this. I want to find out what else there is uh, on there. So, <laughs> so just a little bit of blue cheese. And there next, what we'll do, again, with the same mentality, is the regatta cheese blend okay. with the um, with uh, spoon, uh, spoon it on just a little bit. And this is pre-made. All right, and what goes into your the, the cheese blend okay, here? A regatta cheese, uh, an egg, garlic, and Parmesan cheese and a little bit of parsley, just for a little bit of color. But um, what I do is just, it's just a little bit, couple splashes. And what's cool about this is that um, when you have this on your pizza, this cheese, when you cook it. Oh yeah, you can, that's, that smells good. When you cook this, it almost um, gets lighter and it penetrates through the cheese that, like your provolone cheese or your mozzarella cheese on top. And it gives a little yellow color that pops through every so often. And um, oh, yeah. it's really, really cool. And uh, it's got a great flavor. It's a little strong flavor. And again, it's something too that the judge might taste. They're like, it's a little bit different texture. It's a little bit of different, you know, stronger flavor that they may want to look around and say, hey, that was good. We're, you know, I want another bite. Mm -hmm. And the key is to get them to have a couple bites because then they can really see what you put into it. And another thing too, a little secret is, again, I love basil and, and uh, um, garlic obviously so a little bit of pesto blend okay. just a just a, just in there just a again just a little bit of a teaser where you're, you're just putting it on there to say you know there's more to this than just what you see so we're gonna next put our cheese on top of our provolone mozzarella blend provolone mozzarella blend yeah about All a 50 right. 50 blend um, and what I do is um, I, I when I put it on I put it on but sometimes I'm okay if some of the spinach pops through or some of the other things pop through. You know, it's just a nice layer of this. Of this, you know what I mean? It's it's just well, enough to to uh, do its job. You know. Right. And so what this does is this cheese will, when this cooks in the oven, the spinach will instead of steaming it, it will steam naturally inside underneath the cheese. Okay. So it does a real nice job of uh, keeping that in there. Next thing we'll do is we're going to top it with tomatoes. I already sliced our tomatoes, and what I do to this, I do in the store, pay enough attention to, is I have them go eat all the same direction. Mm -hmm. because and this is something you do, you follow in the store? Yeah, in the store, procedure. yes. Okay. So what we have now are our tomatoes on there. Okay. And then um, what I like to do is put a little bit of, you know, the quartered artichoke hearts on there. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool about this is they, you know, they cook up real nice. Take a little bit of blue cheese and a little pinch of of uh, mozzarella and kind of just stuff it a little bit. So you kind of get a nice little bit of cheese on top of that. that oh, yeah. That's going to melt down and kind of hold it mm -hmm. all into place. Exactly. I mean, with the blue cheese as well as the mozzarella, I mean, great flavors. It's a little bit mild, but it doesn't... Uh, the, the, when you cook the blue cheese, it gets a little oily, mm -hmm. and the mozzarella is nice, kind of keeps it uh, nice together. There you go. And we're 
We're set to bake. Beautiful. All right. So here is the world famous Master Pizza Popeye. Yes. And we are going to bake this at about 450 degrees for about how long? About 10, 15 minutes, depending okay. on your oven. You know, uh, about four, you know, uh, 450 should do the job. Okay. See how the cheese, how it stayed on top of there? Mm -hmm. So one okay. of the things we're going to do real quick is finish garnishing it. I love fresh basil. It's a strong flavor, mm -hmm. but it, what happens is uh, it blends in real well. And we do, I don't know if you can see over here, we, we have a very nice bake on the bottom here. This is a very firm crust for mm -hmm. the amount of toppings it's on that, there. Again, it's the basis that you create yeah. with the cheese, and it just definitely helps it. And then what we do is put a little balsamic glaze on it, okay. go pretty fast on here. And just give it enough, just a, another a little added flavor. And there you go. So what we'll do is get a quick, uh, right, if you can hear a crunch on it, it still holds all that moisture okay, away from it. Let's get my mic up there. Yeah, you can hear it. And I noticed you're using the rocker or the Klingon yes. batlith that we got going on here. <laughs> yes. Why do you use that versus just a uh, I, regular? I like cutter. this because um, sometimes if you roll it, it catches things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I just want to show you real quick is is that see how firm it is yeah i mean it's not going anywhere no you can feel how like it's dry as a bone underneath mm -hmm. so that's it all right so this is the award-winning master pizza popeye pizza one at the mellow mushroom national pizza charles in chattanooga last december uh mike thank you so much for coming down and showing us this thank once you. again it's always a pleasure to have you out here next thing we have to do is eat this but uh first make sure to subscribe to pmq if you have not Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. So uh, once again, thank you so much. That's all the time we have here for Cooking for PMQ. I'm Brian Hernandez. This is Michael Lamarca of Master Pizza in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, keep the ovens lit, and we'll see you guys next time.